God, that is a lot of meat. How do I attack this? Just go for it. We're on the search to find some of the coolest small town bars across the Midwest. And today we are in the heart of Lakes Country in Minnesota at the Sunlight Bar. Now what makes this bar unique is not only the scene you see behind me with it being right on the lake, they also got a convenience store, which we'll get to. But first, we gotta take in the views. La, wow, what a day out here on the lake. A little walleye chop out there, but you know, nothing that I can't handle. <sighs> this lake. Well, I think we better go to the bar, belly on up and uh, talk to the bartender. Allie, we're here at the Sunlight Bar. How are you doing today? Good, how are you doing? Doing good. Sunlight is a little bit different. It's got a convenience store in it. Talk me through what goes on with that. There's like a lot of candy, so there's a lot of kids that go back there. You can get off sale. So how often do people come buy a jug of milk and a case of beer at the same time? I would say like every day. Every day, all day long. It's an occurrence, yeah. Honey, I'm going for some milk and beer. Talk me through some of the exotic burgers you have. You were telling me about this, they call it the wild burger. Yep. What's all on the wild burger? So it's a beef patty, a buffalo patty, and an elk patty. And then there's cheese on it and bacon. So just yeah. meat confusion is yes. what it really is. The wild burger sounds delicious, so let's place an order for that. I'm gonna go look around. We'll meet back here, see if I can guess which meat is which, and uh, well, hopefully I can finish the burger. That's a lot of meat. Sounds good. All right, I'm gonna look around. Here it is, beautiful convenience store of sunlight. You just don't see this every day. A bar, a restaurant, convenience store. Fun for the parents, fun for the kids, fun for the parents who act like kids. Hey, you want some beer? Boom, they got beer. You need some chocolate milk? They got chocolate milk. You need some tartar sauce to go with that chocolate milk. Conveniently, they have it. You come to Sunlight for a beer, burger, lunch today. You can leave with tomorrow's lunch, the old live bait. Well, <laughs> no, I'm not gonna eat the live bait. I'm gonna use the bait to catch tomorrow's Anyways, God, they got a good selection of candy. Candy games, they got candy pets. I'm kind of getting distracted for a good 20 minutes here. I imagine kids would love hanging out in this spot for over an hour. All right. <laughs> Sour flush. It's a toilet, which I'm guessing there's like some sort of powder inside of there. The sucker you dip it in is a plunger. They are running out of ideas in the candy world if you're doing the sour flush. Unless the kids dreams to be a plumber, this is right up their alley. This is right up their pipe. Uh, still, I'll work on it. Before I have my food, I gotta get dessert. I gotta get the pull tabs. We got the swizzle stick. We got the drink slinger. We got bananas. That's what it's called, it's called bananas. Now, I don't know if I've talked about this before when it comes to pull tab investing. You gotta have vigilant eyeballs on the sheets to know which one you should invest in. I'm pretty much a sucker for the high roller. I think the drink slinger is where I'm gonna end up. Two 500s, a 400 still left on the table. Today, we're not messing around with the two hundos. We're going for the big shebang, the $500 one. 40 bucks in, probably 1,200 out is what I'm guessing. Here we go, baby. Investing in, in, invest. Won't go in the slot. Why does this always happen to me? Yeah, there's a lot still left. This is maybe a bad decision. Gotta do it though, committed. I don't like to press the max button. I like to feel like I'm actually participating in the ones that I choose. Welcome to McDonald's, what can I get you? Oh, is that it? All right, here we go. Pull tab investing. Now this is something that I think that a lot more bars should have. It seems like it's kind of a lost art in the bar game world, and that's bubble hockey. We're in the great state of hockey, Minnesota, so it only makes sense that I'm going to beat Tyler in a game of bubble hockey. No, I gotta go to that side, I gotta be the wild. He tried to pull a fast one on me. I'm the wild, you're the Blackhawks. Oh! He scored on himself. Own goal. <laughs> that is detrimental, oh my god. Oh! oh. Go! God. Let's go! Come on. Let's go! Right, wow. get it into the slot. Pepper the net, pepper the net. Oh, <laughs> okay. Really, your goalie's not that good. Oh, no. Oh, you have to, uh. Tie it up, third period. The only time you can score is because I mess up. 19 seconds on the clock, mile. Uh. Let's go! Yeah. Woo! A little bad. 
mustard. <laughs> you missed. You missed. I'm literally out of breath. I don't know how the hockey players do it. I just, I tell you what, they're well conditioned. I'm actually kind of out of breath. Someone give me another bush light and a wild burger. The wild just took home the victory. Maybe if more bars had bubble hockey, the world wouldn't be so obese. Oh, it's perfect timing. Burger time. Yeah, I'll, yeah, let's do it up at the bar. I am recovering still. Ooh, look at that. God, that is a lot of meat. So, Allie, we got the wild burger here. See if we can guess which meat is meat. Look at that son of a gun. First off, I'm gonna have a tough time guessing which one's the bacon. So you might have to help me with that one. But between elk, bison, and beef. God, this is gonna be tough. I'm gonna guess the middle one is elk. Am I right? You are. Let's go. You know, I don't know why, because it's a smaller patty, a more like lean meat, I'm guessing. And so that's why the patty looks smaller. And then the bison burgers on top, regular beef down low. Regular beef is the most fatty of all the meats. On, well, bacon's the fattiest. Ah, I should do this for a living. That was pretty good. So I nailed it. You did. I did. Sweet. Let me try it here. I don't know. How do I attack this? Just go for it. One, it's good. Two, it is a lot of flavors going on at once. Guys, if you're just looking for a light lunch, stop in into the sunlight, get yourself just a little slider. Next thing you know, you'll be just on your way back to work or something like that. Just a light lunch here at the sunlight. I have about two more bites before I'm sweating laying on the floor. You should just rename it to the Meat Sweats Burger. For dessert, I always like to have some pull tabs. About 20 of them here. How many winners do you think I got in this? Yeah, one $100 one. One $100 one is the guest from Allie. So here we go, pull tab investing. Nothing. You'll have that on these bigger jobs. Come on, baby. I have to just feel it. There's a $500 one in here. Last one, baby. Come on. Whew. That was such a weak sigh. Back to the machine. Going max this time. That's what pull tab investing is all about. If you can't handle the cardboard, get out of the bar. I mean, one of these has got to work. Tried the no look, didn't work. This is smelling like Skunk City here. <laughs> this is fun, we're having fun. Don't tell my fiance about the $80 I just lost. It's part of pull tab investing. All right, Allie, I had no winners. You said there would be at least one per 20. It's fine, but uh, I think it's time to settle up the tab. What do you got for me here? There we go. 34 bucks for an entire bison, elk, beef patty here. Couple beers. And a lot of fun. Lots and lots of fun. Pull tab investing. But I did win bubble hockey though. I think that concludes another small town bar tour. I'm gonna try and finish the rest of this bad boy here. And as always, remember, tip your bartender. See you in the next one. God, you never wanna see Mount Pull Tab sitting in front of you like this. But part of Pull Tab Investing, if you're a Pull Tab Investor too, you gotta go to oubetcha.com. Check out the pull tab investing shirts that we got on there. You spend a hundred, you make zero. It's fun. Oh, you betcha, yeah. Yeah.